who is threatened by a fairy tale? You know, how many of us would like run from the books when they opened up the fairy tale books? Now we were like, tell me a story. <laughs> Give me a bedtime story. <laughs> Yeah, until, I mean, once you start to get the essence of a fairy tale, it's like, what has it got to tell me and what has it got to teach me? But it's not like, not like a potential threat. Of course, if you grew up with Grimm's fairy tales, that might be, <laughs> might be a different story. But still. It depends like what your imagination is. Yeah. So David, if you see the world as you just said, just everything is symbol, and that, like, uh, the script is all written. So even like the moment that you will awaken, it's written. It. So you don't have to do anything. I mean, if you just do that, like you don't have to change your life or like just changing the way you see things. It's enough because everything is written. So you will arrive to that point where it will happen. Can I say something? It's just depending on your happiness. If you yeah, yeah. are just following, like doing things that make you be joyful and... Okay, more for well, I just had a thought of that because I've been thinking about it and, and I've talked to somebody about it too. It is like I see, like, there is no time. It just seems as if we are getting closer to the spirit or to God all the time. It just seems that way. You know? In the moment when, I guess when in the moment when we are awakened, we would understand it, that there was no time and nothing happened. But in the meantime, it seems like we are getting closer. And it feels good. It also means you, you know, believe you're not it, Can you understand me? No, I don't think about, I, I, it, I don't have the impression that we talk about this. Uh -huh. yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we do, because you are saying we don't need to do anything, but we need to do something. <coughs> because yeah, it seems like we are coming closer, we are like cutting small pieces of the blockage to the awareness of love. And that feels good. If we didn't do that, just uh, focus on everything else, we wouldn't feel good. But it doesn't happen in time. I, I can't explain it. But, but that means you believe that you're not already awakened as yes. well, which, means, which in theory everyone is anyway, because time is all at the same time. Yes. yes. I, keep, I, I can understand all that in Star Trek. I think get it over very well, especially in thought. But I keep coming back, who is the dreamer of the dream? There's, there always seems to be somebody that's dreaming it. That's what puzzles me. I'm with myself, okay, so. I made all my life story, I programmed it in what my life story is going to be. But who is that I that's in there that is doing it, dreaming it? Well, it's wonderful in, in the sense that, that there's one part, you know, Jesus has all these different names, he gives it and he calls it, you know, happy dream, real world, true perception. I mean, he's got so many different names for that state. Dreamer of the dream, he even comes out and says, you are the dreamer of the dream and no other cause does it have or ever will. It's just like, boom. He's, he's saying you, that's you. Now he's not talking about the Christ you or the, the one with God you because God's not dreaming and Christ is not dreaming, really. Uh, heaven and eternity don't have anything to do with the dream, but, but this is, his whole course is aimed at one thing which is that you are the dreamer of the world of dreams and no other cause does it have or ever will. He actually comes out at one point and he says that the function of God's teachers is awareness of dreaming. Now he's equated awareness of dreaming with the happy dream, with the highest state you can reach. And isn't that what I just said? If you were aware that you were dreaming, in psychology they call it lucid dreaming, it's great. Has anybody had a lucid dream? Yes. Isn't it fun? Yes. It's very empowering. You can have monsters, nuclear weapons, anything in there. And you, yeah, it's just cool. When you're having a lucid dream, it's very empowering. And that's what Jesus is saying, that, that just 
staying with that one thing. I think that's that's really ultimately what Armel is is pointing at. If, if if you just stay with the awareness of dreaming, you got it. In fact, that's that's the max. You've hit. You've rang the bell and you ding. You just hit the hit the bell at the carnival, you know. So if you are the point, whatever you can do, I mean, if you just like follow your heart and just make things that are joyful for you, it's it's the point. I mean, that's it. Or stay aware. Just stay aware of the dreaming. In other words, you can see where the struggle comes in if if you go through these experiences and you think, okay. There was my life in Belgium, but now I just went through this marriage experience and I'm here on an island in the Mediterranean now with a group of people that I've, a lot of them that I've just met and da 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 da. And if you can just get to the point like, okay, that's, I'm dreaming and that's, that's what I'm dreaming. And this is what I'm dreaming now or seem to be dreaming now. And you can just stay with that in a state of trust that, that this is good, this, this works. That's wonderful. It's when you bring in the first thought of the future. Where will I go? Will I stay married to Eric? What will I do? How will I act and interact? Of course the world is saying that's the practical thing to do. Don't just be a dreamer. <laughs> you know, they tell us, don't just be a dreamer, you've got to be practical. But everything in the world, it involves specifics and future and past, is actually impractical. And to stay in the awareness of dreaming is the most practical thing. Because then you're saying it all is just symbolic. Mm. You, so you're it's not pulling it. Being in the now. That's, well, that's the closest approximation this world offers. Yeah, I would say light experiences, revelatory experiences are, are even closer uh, expressions of the now. But but in terms of what we're talking about with the world, to be able to see it as symbolic. So, I've, I've used many examples, but sometimes people will come to me and, and they'll say, okay, what are we going to do about this, 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 and this, and this, and, and now it's like usually I just kind of throw it back and I, I say, well, what do you feel? What do you feel? Uh, one of the things that just happened was I, they're working on this, um, monastery out in uh, in Utah and they're adding on bathrooms to this one house and they just sent me the floor plan, <laughs> the blueprints for the bathrooms. And one had a little commode and a little sink and a little shower and then the other one had a little commode and a sink and a bathtub. So I just sent it out to all the messengers and Helena said, great, like the tub. Jenny said, like the tub. Jason said, like the tub, Person said, like the tub, you know, everybody was like, thumbs up. Yeah, I have no investment, you know, whether it's a tub, two, two tubs, two showers, or whatever, but it's just like, it's just like you're aware that it's a dream. And that the, these tubs, and these showers, and these blueprints are just part of the fairy tale. You know, it's, it's not like such a big deal of, do you actually, you know, or is there an actual monastery with an actual, you know, main house and this facility? You, st you start to just see everything as symbolic. And then when you do that, then it's always, what's the point? The point is to stay aware of the dreaming. That's the point. Mm -hmm. You're safe when you're aware that it's dreaming. When, you're, when you forget, then you're into Simone, you know. You know all, how that all just got blown out of proportion? Millions of people swaying and painting their chests, you know, with Simone and all, you know, all the bizarre thing. Or coming to a spiritual retreat and watching people hit each other, you know, it's, you know, it's, if, if it's real in any kind of aspect, then it's, it's absolutely bizarre. As we can see in the movie, that just was bizarre how that played out, all on, on a false construct. And then you couldn't even stop it. 